Look, whoa. That hand like Ginobili. Baby boy like Jody. Baby boy, you should've told me. Point like La Below, dog. I pull a fire away at. Came on my soul, dog. You know that God in my book. Lord is with me, Scotty Dish. Just speaking to myself, I felt trapped in, unheard. Every time I spoke, not one word was said to me. I'm so disturbed. Talk to everyone else. When's my turn? Uh, why can't you hear me, God? Show me your sign. He said, I may not come when you want me to. But I'm hey, girl, where you at? I haven't heard from you all day. Hey girl, I'm sorry. I just had a super long day. Oh, well you're about to have an even longer night cuz Sam's having a kickback and it's about to be so lit. No, I'm not really up to it. I've been feeling kind of sick lately. Y'all just go ahead without me. Stop being dry. You like literally know that you're the life of the party. You better uh, pop some pills, do something because you're coming out regardless. Oh, and guess what? Jamal's coming. What? That nigga... <laughs> okay. I'll get dressed. I need to get my mind off of things anyway. I can meet you in 15 minutes. Hey, it's about to be so lit. I haven't drank in like two weeks, so you already know. You're such an alcoholic, bruh. Okay, whatever. See you in like 15 minutes. Bye. Jesus Christ, God, we come to you this day, Lord God, in thanksgiving. God, we thank you, Lord God, for helping us to see another day, Lord. God, we commit this doctor's appointment into your hands. God, we ask, Lord God, for your mercy and your favor upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we come to you laying our burdens at your feet, Lord God. And we ask that you intervene on our behalf, Lord. In the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth that I pray. Amen. Amen. So you think you're pregnant? Yes, I took a test and it came out positive, so I think I am. See, well, those tests aren't 100% positive, so I'm going to conduct a few tests and I'm going to have you follow me to the bathroom so you can urinate in the cup. Okay. I ran the test several times just to make sure everything was good, but the test kept coming back negative. I'm afraid you're not pregnant. Oh my gosh, really? Niha, what is it you Christians say? Glory, hallelujah, I'm not pregnant. I can't 
guess I'll leave you guys alone. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Wow, God is really good. Thank goodness. You really dodged a bullet there, Maya. Man, did I? Now Jamal won't leave me. I mean, now I won't be an inadequate mother. Mm -hmm. Miha, can we celebrate, please? Actually, we can. There's a Bible study meeting going on tonight at the church, and I think you should go because you have a lot to be thankful for right now. It starts in about an hour. We can head on right there after we leave here. You know what? I'm actually down. The big man upstairs really looked out. Mm -hmm. I'll go with you. Yeah. Change first, so we're going to stop by the house before we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Maya, I hope this was an eye-opener for you. You almost brought a child into this world. Sex outside of marriage comes with a lot of baggage. At least have enough sense to use a condom, even though condoms don't protect you from STDs and soul ties. I'm still disappointed in you, but if God can forgive you, then so can I. You're a beautiful young woman who has so much more to offer than just your body, especially to somebody who's going to leave you when the tough, when the, when the going got tough. I just wish you would make wiser decisions. All I ask is for God to reveal to you how worthy you are in his eyesight. I know, Mia. I really do know. Jamal does love me. We were both just scared. That's it. We made a mistake, and I know, but I'm really thankful that I actually didn't have a kid because that would have ruined my life and the baby's. Yeah. But I really do thank you for still being here for me, though. You're more of a mom than my own mother is to me. Mm. But let's go inside. Doesn't the Bible say something like, those that are late miss it thy blessing? <laughs> no. Oh. Wow, you need this Bible study more than I thought. Let's go inside. Hey, okay, let's go. Once I fully understand how God forgives us, I was able to forgive myself. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't have been here. You know, I went from turning up in the club every weekend, smoking weed every day, in an abusive, uh, verbally and physically relationship, and. I was running away from home. I, I went through it all, but when I had the abortion, that's when I hit an all-time low, and I was so depressed and I was disgusted with myself, but I always remember my aunt saying, Jesus saves, and he will forgive you, but you have to forgive yourself. God bless her soul. May her soul rest in peace because she was the one that helped me and guided me. I just realized that no one can help me except for God, so here I am laying down my life to follow God, and which was the best decision I ever made. See, the amazing thing about testimonies is we really get to see the glory of God. So, sis, I'm really thankful that you shared your testimony, and I pray that God continues to use you to shed your light to the world. But shall we turn to Ephesians chapter 3? Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17 to 19 is where we're reading from. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Look, whoa, that hand like Genovi, baby boy like Jody, baby boy you should've told me. Point light up below, dog. I pull a fire away yet. came on my shoulder, you know that God in my book. Lord is with me, Scotty did say The windows tend to hide the civic The windows tend to mind your business The windows tend to mind your business I spit, 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 no specific I spit, no, I know I spit, 